rate these outfits for me. Hey, New York, what are y'all wearing? Yeah, yo. Go, what are your shoes? So I got on some Balenciaga ski boots right now. I'm sorry, I gotta That's pause. What is that? I gotta pause. What in the black? K, K, K. I wanna hear him explain this. Yeah, let me Where, explain. What even is it? Let me let him talk. This? this is Mud. This is a brand from one of my friends. Okay. This is Trippin' YC. Okay. Just a veil, little like hat. I'm just gonna say a, hat. A little hat. It's a little hat. A little hat. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Not sun, sun slight. And then what you got on? You got um, a pile of filth shirt. Okay. Some Balenciaga uh, shorts. Motocross boots. You already know the dunce cap. Yeah, what? And a freak mask. Kind of hard freak though. Mask. Yo, what, what inspires the style? I like being creative. And where I'm from a lot, we're, we're rated the worst fashion city, so. Where are you from? What's the worst fashion city? I'm from Boston. Hey, I've never been to Boston, so I can't speak on it, but what do you do for a living to buy clothes? What do I do for a living? I'm a manager for a lot of rappers. What, what does bro do? Him? He's just kind of around, bro. He's <laughs> hey, around. you be around, bro. I, I get it. New York fashion. Can he breathe? The guy there on the left? It looks like a plastic, like, um, Jabberwockies, but with no mouth hole. Because these are looks, I think. Because there's, like, difference. Like, a, you but put a fit look? on, there's a style, there's fashion, and then this is a look. But I don't know what you would call it. And he said he's a manager for a lot of rappers, so I imagine this guy representing you in a meeting. Oh no, my manager will be in a second. This guy walks in. Is he the rapper? Am I in trouble or who are you? <laughs> Goth KKK is wild. Grand Opium <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> Bro got the dominatrix clan fit. Bring back bullying. They said nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> when Blatantly is wearing something. Just a little hat. A little like hat. <laughs> Welfare wizards casting fentanyl spells. Welfare wizards <laughs> Welfare and they're wizards. casting fentanyl spells. <laughs> Clue calm clan fits. This goes to show that you can wear anything. Step out and don't be uncomfortable to put something on that you want to try. Cause you got people wearing this. <laughs> I always find the coolest fashionable people are the ones that they're wearing something cool or sophisticated or what I deem to be cool, but they don't look like they're trying to be cool necessarily. I always found that to be the most impressive. Like you can't even link up with the homies. They don't even know if it's you or not. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nobody knows if you're actually in. Like, how do you chill with that? Like, when they eat, do they take it off or they sneak it up under? When you gotta take a Dude, shit. Like, it. you take your little food. <laughs> Pull your hand. Fashion is subjective. Wear what you want to wear. Wear what you want, and if everyone cooks you, well then don't wear that again. <laughs> Could y'all give the people some fashion tips? I bet there's people watching mm. wanting to know. I wonder what y'all's tips would be. I don't want to know what thing. I feel like we all like thrifting. And I know some hometowns, their thrift stores are like the actual thrift. Like there's not. Goodwill bins. Yes. <laughs> I would suggest to find things that just fit you well. It almost is, the brand don't even matter. Because if it fits you well and you look good, yeah. it almost elevates the whole fit. And I'm a fan of of picking out certain pieces for your closet, not all at once. So if you go somewhere, don't feel like you have to get a shirt to match the shorts or a shirt to match these pants all from the same store. Like you can grab stuff and just put it in your closet and build the fits later. Yeah, I think curating your wardrobe and closet takes time. You definitely. Like, and then you swap it out and then you sell it and you get new. It, it's, I've hit a roadblock where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to sell a lot of this stuff and <laughs> go to my next era because I've gathered all this. I feel like I've worn it enough. I had a great time with it, but what's my next? skinning of and it, yeah it changes all the time too and I, I was gonna say my favorite thing to do is go to different secondhand stores thrift stores vintage t-shirt stores in different cities arizona we were just in vegas whatever and you go and i'll sometimes i'll just find one or two shirts exactly. but yeah. they fit me perfect my only tip would be when you put something on if it's not a hell yes then don't get it because the things that i've spent the most on i've worn the least mm. and i don't know why mm. i got that and a fashion style isn't yours until you make it yours like people are afraid to try new things and i'm sure there's more apps now but i feel like pinterest to this day still holds its weight like if you type in certain words of a look you're going for it'll give you a whole bunch of options to kind of look at and sometimes on pinterest it'll even say where that shirt or pants or jacket even came from so pinterest is also nice too if you want to just get looks on you can literally type in white guy wearing this or black guy wearing this and it'll even show you like if you think it'll look right on you too i like going even on instagram typing in men's fashion yeah you can use all the hashtags on instagram and find everything and then you'll start to see small clothing brands and be like, oh, that's a cool shirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I find some Google image search? I also even like will ask people like, oh, what do you think about this? 
sure, I'll get different opinions on things to even gauge about, oh, okay, yeah, that's something that uh, goes well with this because I don't know everything. So sometimes yep. I'll even reach out to people. I actually learned, well, I've seen it firsthand. Your physique's actually the best outfit. If you're built like a pair. Nothing will look good on you. Uh-huh. Like, look at Gunna's transformation. Incredible. He was into fashion before and he's into fashion now. He looks better now. Yeah, you gotta take care of yourself. That's the main thing. Dude, to be 350 pounds wearing Dior J's, it's like, ah. Uh, don't look good for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it don't look good on you. But you got all this stuff. Ain't that something? It ain't really about the clothes, it's about the motherfucker wearing them. That's it, though. It's not about the clothes. At the end of the day, you can wear whatever. Mm -hmm. It's about who's wearing it. Who's wearing it and how they're rocking it. And if you're a maybe a high status person, a high, like a person that's got great social skills, whatever, great aura, should be looking cooler. Yeah, it's how you rock. This is from a New York souvenir shop, and I just like the way it fits. I think it's hard. There you go. But that's what I mean. Like, you can go to these vintage shops and find these one off things that fit you well. Exactly. And you could hold on to those pieces, you know, mm -hmm. like what Noah was saying. And then I like the fact when people come up to me, like, where'd you get that? Yeah, that, yeah that's that a great one of one. <laughs> where, this where? was made in 1970 something. I don't know. You can't buy this. Never coming back. And I like that too. The fact about fashion where you can be that customizable to the point where, yeah, you can't even wear it. Like, go to Zoomies and buy this. I think that would be my favorite aspect of it. Is the like you said they ask oh that's dope where, where can i get that <laughs> <laughs> i wish i can tell you the fact you even <laughs> asked that question google image search this you won't find it you can't <laughs> <laughs> nothing will pop up you could y'all could probably google image search this you probably will find it uh, all right mine doesn't you that shit but th well they could you go to <laughs> try any souvenir shop and get this one but <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you can pretty much find it. I do have some shirts that are like, they're different. They're rare, they're one-on-one. -on -one. And they fit me right. End of the day, nobody really cares. End of the day, who's really looking at you like that? They are in a, in quick yeah. segments, but not to a deep level. Like appearances matter until they forget about you, and then you're nobody. But you wouldn't go on a date with a basketball team, basketball. Yeah. So, you know, you just there's nuance to yeah. it. If you go to FedEx and you're shirtless wearing a pink Speedo, people in the store will look at you and be like, what the fuck is he in a Speedo? And then they'll forget about it in 10 minutes. Now, if you show up on a date with a pink Speedo and you're in your dorm room walking around like that, then you're getting cooked and then appearances do matter. You're like, aren't you the pink Speedo guy? I, they told me on Strawberry Park that no one cares. Whatever. <laughs> and what you wear is a first sort of expression of your inner self or your personality or whatever. So why not make it a good first impression? Why not show who you are? Exactly. And, and people read a lot about a person just by what they're wearing. Like, oh wow, this guy's a good fashion sense. He might have this, this, and that, or he might do this or be into that. And it's something worth showing out for, I think. I don't think you ever want to be like, I don't know, not presentable, you know? Everyone wants to be presentable and, and this is a fun way to, to kind of customize it. But it's funny because not a lot of people care about fashion. You can go up to someone and they're like, we'll put anything on. I got this from Walmart, this, this, that. Costco shoes, this. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's for a certain type of person to be into fashion anyways. And that's just making me think again of, to reiterate the same point of people do care about your appearance and you could say, well, I'm above this. I don't care what people think of me. That's great, but you kind of should simply because you live like in a society with other people where you could lose out on opportunities if people think that you're a fucking weirdo. But I mean, anyone who says that is, are they, do they really truly mean that? No, no. no. As a human, you care what other people think. It's almost hard to not. It's easy to say though. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you think. Sounds nice. On paper, it sounds great. But there's a reason why I wore what you wore today. Even <laughs> saying I don't care what you think is saying you care. You care enough to say that you don't care. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, Well, there was a UFC fighter. He said, uh, I'm, I'm quoting him here. This isn't my saying. Like an overweight person betrayed their own arteries for a donut. They'll betray you for a lot less. Yeah, yeah if you not put lying. it that way. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, someone Damn. who's like dirty and shit, they don't care about themselves. But yeah, I've actually been wanting to get more into fashion, more into like clothing and stuff, because I do think it's fun. It's once you get into it, it's actually pretty fun. That oh, this pa these pants fit great. Mm -hmm. These are stretchy and they're. they're I mean, cool. it's just a lifestyle at this point. Like I've always cared about clothes and how I look and present myself. So it's like I think that's gonna carry on and evolve over time, which I'm excited for. And you won't know if you just wear some bullshit. You don't really even get to know the opinions of people as they silently judge you, but you will be getting judged and you mm -hmm. will be maybe blocking your own blessings because you're one of the, I don't care what people think. That's it. Peace.